Hello and welcome back. And uh, in the last video, we saw how we can use Firebase uh, to set up our uh, users uh, and authentication and basically sign up uh, using Firebase uh, for, our, uh, for our app uh, and create users uh, in the Firebase authentication account. So in this video, we're going to be uh, using the same user to basically try to log in into our app. All right, so let's go ahead and, and get started. Uh, I'm gonna, so we have this uh, view controller that was created for us by default, um, but uh, we wanna actually uh, name our login uh, view controller a little bit more proper name. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm simply gonna delete this and then create a new file of type view controller, so select Cocoa Touch class, click next, and we're gonna say login this time. Login view controller and click next, create, and there we go. Alright. Now one thing we want to make sure is uh, we go back to main dot storyboard and uh, the default uh, the initial view controller still references to view controller, so we want to make sure that it's actually referencing now login view controller as its custom class cool okay so with that said uh, we are ready to roll and we're going to go to login view controller and first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create uh, two outlets so ib outlet week r email field text field and ib outlet our password field UI text field there we go okay once we have created those let's import Firebase as well and then uh, we can uh, create uh, a function here and that function is going to be our login function so at IB IB action func did tap login button sender is our UI button and there we go okay so with that we are ready to connect our outlet and, and actions into the storyboard so let's go ahead and select our view controller uh, login view controller and uh, go to the outlets and basically we're gonna drag email field to drop it on email and drag password field to drop in on password and in the receiving action I'll drag did tap login to did tap login and touch up inside all right cool with that let's go back to our login view controller one more time okay and here uh, we're gonna use firebase uh, to try to authenticate uh, into the uh, into the app okay so what we're going to do is uh, we will create a another function because uh, in future we want to actually authenticate using uh, the touch ID uh, uh, like you know and face ID as well so uh, by clicking on these so, so we're going to reutilize that login function so for that reason what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a uh, new function we're going to call this one authenticate user with so authenticate user with and we can say user email this is going to be of type string password this is going to be of type string okay and uh, this is going to authenticate our user so what we're going to do is we're going to use again auth we're going to get reference to auth object and we're going to say sign in with email and password. So this is the overload that you want that says sign in with email and password in the completion block. Okay. We're going to supply email and we're going to supply our password. And the completion block is going to return our some sort of result and error. So we're going to see. So first of all, we're going to check uh, if the error is 
No. If not, then we're gonna we don't wanna continue. So we are gonna return, not rerun. There we go. Okay. Now um, once we have uh, once we know that uh, we are clear of the error, we can uh, simply unwrap user as well. So guard let user. Now result object actually wraps user inside that. So we're gonna use that. And uh, you can say if user exists, awesome. Otherwise return from here because we can't continue. Okay, so with that, we're gonna basically now we're gonna have access to our user object. So we're gonna say user dot let's uh, get its display name. Display name is something that's not displayed <laughs> on um, on the portal. So that's why we are actually printed because we did set display name during our sign up process. So I wanna print uh, that. Okay, so this is going to be the indicator that our user has successfully signed in. So let's I'll put some uh, these special marks here and uh, we're gonna say print user login success okay that way we know when it's being printed okay so we don't need that all right so now we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna call this inside this tab function so first we're gonna check guard let email is equal to email field dot text let password is equal to password field dot text else we will return and if everything is uh, good here then we're gonna say authenticate with email and password okay cool so with that uh, we are ready to uh, roll so let's go ahead and, and run this and uh, what we should be able to do is uh, we should be able to use our username uh, our user that was created earlier uh, in the last video um, uh, to basically authenticate ourselves so let's go ahead and try that so it was demo at demo dot com and the password was password and then we have like a couple of issues font is not changed and password field is, field is not secret so we're gonna fix that in a minute but let's go ahead and try to log in there we go login was successful and we get the user's name that we set display name to be demo okay it's an optional value because it, uh, uh, you may not have uh, display name set uh, for that reason Firebase returns it as an optional but um, uh, if you unwrap it you can get like you know it without optional but there we go we have our user's name returning back that we created okay so you have successfully uh, logged in uh, your user into the Firebase and uh, let's fix these couple of issues and we're gonna do a wrap for this video and we're gonna start working on the main app um, in the next video. So let's go ahead and fix this. I'm gonna change font first to be Avenir next. And about 19 points is what we need. And we can do the same thing here. We'll do Avenir next, about 19 points here. And uh, then the password is also a secure text entry. Let's go ahead and try to rerun this one more time to see if everything is looking good. Okay, so we're gonna type our user. Okay, that's better. Demo.com, password, password. There we go. And login. Let's take a look. Our user login was successful and we get our display name back. Awesome. 
So that's it for this video. We have successfully created our login screen. In the next video, we're going to start working on our uh, main uh, entry point, basically uh, creating uh, the uh, uh, list of uh, journals. So we're going to uh, put a table view together uh, to put like, you know, list of uh, journals and then uh, we're going to format that and uh, uh, access like you know basically create journal and everything and also gonna connect to firebase firestore uh, in order to save our journal entries okay cool so this is it for this video thanks again for watching